This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at conformational isomerism. So let's start with a definition. Conformational isomers or conformers are stereoisomers produced by rotation around carbon to carbon single bonds. Here we can see the full structural formula of two molecules. On the left, we have ethene with its carbon to carbon double bond. On the right, we have ethane with its carbon to carbon single bond. As we saw in previous videos, the carbon to carbon double bond is made up of one sigma bond and one pi bond. Because of the pi bond, we have restricted rotation around the carbon to carbon double bond. A carbon to carbon single bond is made up of one sigma bond. Because we don't have a pi bond in a carbon to carbon single bond, there's free rotation between the two carbon atoms. This free rotation results in the formation of two isomers which are called conformers. The two conformers interconvert readily at room temperature. So next we'll have a look at these two conformers in more detail. So here we can see the two conformers of ethane. On the left we have the eclipse conformer, on the right we have the staggered conformer. In the eclipse conformer we can see that the two C to H bonds are aligned with each other with a dihedral angle of zero degrees. In the staggered conformer, the two C to H bonds are not aligned with each other and have a dihedral angle of 60 degrees. Here we can see the sawhorse projections of the eclipse conformer on the left and the staggered conformer on the right. Starting with the eclipse conformer, if we rotate this carbon to carbon single bond by 60 degrees, we get the staggered conformer on the right. At the bottom of the screen, we have the two Newman projections for the two conformers. In terms of energy, the eclipse conformer has a higher potential energy than the staggered conformer. Next, we look at the difference in energy between the two conformers in more detail. In this graph, we can see the difference in potential energy between the two conformers. So as we can see, there's a difference of approximately 12 kilojoules per mole between the eclipse conformers and the staggered conformers. This difference in energy is caused by torsional strain. Torsional strain occurs as a result of the repulsion between the electrons in the carbon to hydrogen bonds. It is greatest in the eclipsed conformers. The two conformers at the bottom of the screen, which have dihedral angles of zero, and 120 degrees are eclipse conformers. As we can see, these eclipse conformers at zero and 120 degrees are 12 kilojoules per mole less stable than the staggered conformers. The staggered conformers at the bottom of the screen are those with a dihedral angle of 60 degrees and 180 degrees. The staggered conformers are more stable by approximately 12 kilojoules per mole. So let's end with a summary. Conformational isomers occur because of the free rotation around a carbon to carbon single bond, which is composed of one sigma bond. The staggered conformers are more stable than the eclipsed conformers. The two conformers interconvert rapidly at room temperature because of the small difference in energy between them.